Eyewitness News has new details in the Boston Marathon bombings trial. 24 hours after Joe Harsonayev was found guilty on all 30 counts, survivor Heather Abbott of Newport is speaking to Eyewitness News on camera. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace is live in Newport with that interview, new at 5. And Sh Shannon, Heather Abbott says she was not surprised when Joe Karzanayev was convicted on all counts, and she also said she had a sense of relief that justice was served. Abbott spoke with us from her Newport home this afternoon. She says as for the penalty phase of the trial, she has little to no emotion. Zanayev could be sentenced to life or be put to death, but Abbott says either way for her, it really doesn't matter. Whether he spends the rest of his life in prison or is sentenced to the death penalty is, is really out of my hands and, um, and it doesn't matter to me. I don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. Um, regardless of what does happen, I won't get my leg back. Um, the people who he killed will never come back to us. So, um, you know, I, I'd rather focus on moving forward. Abbott went on to say that she will watch as the jury does its job, but that said, she may be called to testify during the penalty phase of this trial. So coming up all new at 6 o'clock on Eyewitness News, hear what Heather Abbott has to say regarding believing Joe Carzanayev has witnessed despite his evil acts. Reporting live with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News. And now we turn to the Boston Marathon bombings trial. The penalty phase is expected to begin next week now that Johar Sarnayev has been found guilty of all 30 counts. The verdict is triggering a mix of emotions for survivors. And new at 6, Heather Abbott explains something good that's come from it that she believes the suspect has seen firsthand. From the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace is live in Newport. And Mike and Shannon, of course, Heather Rabbit says she will never forget what happened to her and the many others at the Boston Marathon bombings. But she also says she refuses to think about what will, will happen to the man responsible. Heather Abbott is doing her best to move on, but before she can do that, she may be called to testify in the penalty phase against the man responsible for taking her leg and nearly taking her life. It's really hard to know what I would say to him if I had that opportunity. Um, you know, again, because he did what he did intentionally, and um, you know, to tell him about the pain he's caused me and the people I've gotten to know is exactly what he wanted to do. Abbott says she's relieved Zarnayev has been convicted, but she really doesn't care whether he's sentenced to life in prison or death. The reason is simple. I think for me, it's almost like he's not a real person. Um, what he did is just so unimaginable. Um, and his lack of remorse is something I just, I can't relate to at all. Abbott says through the tragedy, she's discovered a strength she never knew she had. And she believes Jokar Zanayev has discovered something too. The country and the world really came together to support, to support Boston. It, it's interesting that one person did what they did and millions of others um, came out to, to help. And Abbott also tells me that this tragedy has created her life's purpose. She has started the Heather Abbott Foundation. It is to raise awareness and money for those who need prosthetic limbs. Reporting live with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.